According to CSEC reports, Harkin was taken into custody, and charges are pending. That's the least that bastard deserves. Also, according to... Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined C-Sec so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Eh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mounts? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, Suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Shepard. Laugh it up, Tally. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy is running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. We're gonna stop him before that happens, aren't we? Yes, we are. Thank you, Shepard. Traverse. But Saren won't stop there. 
His geth aren't going to stay on the fringes of Citadel space. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! The Citadel's closing! They're sealing the station! Is surrender not preferable to extinction? Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance! This summer, humanity earns its place among the stars. Citadel, a film by Risa Uverson, presented by Aridani Films. Shepard, are you looking for a good time? Drinks from a hundred worlds? Games? Perhaps a little companionship? The Dark Star, one level up. I'll see you there. Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun. But do you have the managerial and actuarial skills required to manage your own business in today's... Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. A pleasant dream, but technology can't cure greed. Whoever owned this cornucopia would certainly restrict its use. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I'm Commander Shepard. And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. At Ion Liquidators, we are different. We don't use high-tech ads that use your name, job, history and marital status to tailor a message just for you. I am Keth Mack, owner of Ion Liquidators, and I have only one message. I offer goods and services for less than my competitors. How do I do it? Foreclosures, bankruptcies, store closeouts, insurance sales, inexpensive advertising, Come to Ion Liquidators for cheap goods. I find deals so you don't have to. Your attention, please. Citadel Security reminds residents and visitors that heightened security precautions are in place for your safety. If approached by a CSEC officer, please be prepared to offer biometric and genetic data for identity confirmation. If you see a synthetic unaccompanied by an organic owner, Report to the closest CSEC kiosk or link into Citadel Net, keyword CSEC Nightwatch. Remember, we are all responsible for public safety. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station records show that you made only zero credit last year. If you need something to get you to your next paycheck,
but you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? Anata's Mortuary offers the finest quality burial robes, hand-spun by skilled Asari artisans. Anata's will help you leave a good-looking corpse. In everyone's life, there is a moment when things crystallize. You can see all the roads that have led you to that point, and all the paths that lie ahead. For you, Shepard, that moment may be when you first sit in the pilot seat of the Arlos 2185 model Tenacond. For 500 years, designer Celia Kelpion has refined this luxury sports shuttle. Each is a unique masterpiece, hand-assembled by skilled craftsmen. Visit our showroom in the Presidium today, and perhaps you'll see that the path ahead of you will be traveled in a Tenacond. Mr. Shepard, a man as ruggedly handsome as you deserves the finest in biotic technology. The next time you're out on the town with Miss Zora, the new Sophus Biotic Amplifier from the Ceres Council is the perfect accessory. Power, precision, elegance. It's not just an amplifier, it's an expression of your masculinity, Sophist. Konstantin Solikovsky once said, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot remain in the cradle forever. Shepard, in these troubled economic times, the one thing you can be sure of is that humanity will continue to move into space. Don't be left in the dust. Embrace the stars by investing in an off-world colony. Venture capital is being raised for third-stage colonization of Exogenicorp's Pharaoh's Colony. This is the first opportunity for public investment in this ancient world, where humans live in Prothean structures 50 millennia old. Contact your broker for details. Shepard, could I have a moment of your time? I was just thinking what a pity it is that you can't enjoy the advantage of a true 360-degree outer projection display. If you were watching this on the new Monovi Avatar Wide Field Surround Vent Projector, you could see that there's a naked Asari behind me. Monovi. Because real life is surround vid. I wish they still made role-playing games like they used to. These days it's all big choices and visceral combat. I miss those old games where you had to remember to drink water, and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. You can download a game free. The worst thing about Extranet games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto-translation. <laughs> I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game! You know anyone who plays that Extranet game, Third Coil? Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news, though. I know it looks like I'm not working, but there's only so many times you can sweep the place. If games were still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the racks or something. Do you play those human sports games? They sell well in the Alliance. And to Krogan. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. No problem. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. No, that's fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. You won't be disappointed. Well, I just need a bit more time. It's not my fault. Nobody told me the package was in two parts. Yeah, I know. I'll get it, don't worry. End of day, no later. You can count on it. I... I understand. That, that won't be necessary. I'll throw in a copy of the Shepard VI. 
Hey, the Volus worked real hard on that. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? <laughs> they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kel. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. It feels good to be a gangster. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was playing this fascinating human game. Solitaire. Did you need something? According to 
CSEC reports, Harkin was taken into custody and charges are pending. Also, according to CSEC. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight, and if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. <laughs> 